Hello my angel, this is how you are going to get the goddess treatment every single time, everywhere you go. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel where we talk all about the law of attraction and personal growth to accomplish your goals. If you want to receive the goddess treatment everywhere you go, the answer is simple. You have to embody your goddess energy. It doesn't matter what you look like. You can embody your goddess energy in three simple steps. Number one, look your best. Number two, feel your best. Number three, be authentic. It sounds pretty straightforward. Let me get a little bit deeper into how you actually embody each tip. When you are looking your best, it is so, so important to put an effort into your appearance. So it doesn't mean that you have to subscribe to some kind of beauty standard or pretend to be someone you're not. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to wear so much makeup or not wear makeup at all or do your hair in a certain way or wear a certain type of clothes. It literally doesn't matter what you actually look like. It's all about dressing your personal best. Not just your clothing, but the way you do your hair right? Your personal hygiene, the perfume that you're wearing, taking a shower, wearing deodorant, wearing body lotion, using the best face cream you can use, making sure your hair doesn't look a mess, putting on nice shoes that feel comfortable that match your outfit, doing what you can do to look stylish. You should be able to look in the mirror before you go anywhere and say, damn, I look good. It doesn't matter if you're going to Publix, it doesn't matter if you're going to the gym. It doesn't matter if you're going to go run errands. It doesn't matter if you're going to a party. You want to look your best every single place that you go. Even if you're just staying at home, dress to impress. Dress to impress yourself, <laughs> okay? You always want to look your best, right? So tip number two, feel your best. Feeling your best also builds off of looking your best. Because when you look in the mirror and you like what you see, you feel good about yourself. But this goes a little bit deeper than just your physical appearance. This has to do with not only your physical health, but also your mental health. So feeling your best has to do with making sure that you're giving your body what it needs. It doesn't mean you have to have the perfect, healthiest diet, and it doesn't mean you have to work out six times a week and work out for three hours every day, right? This simply means that you are putting in effort. You are showing up every single day. You have some kind of exercise routine integrated into your schedule. You are making sure that generally your body is getting what it needs. You are enjoying your food and your food makes you feel good. Oftentimes we eat all these junk foods because they taste good, but they make us feel bad. Like, have you ever eaten something and then five hours later you're hungry again, but you still feel like the stickiness? I know for me, when I eat a lot of fast food or if I eat really sweet, sugary stuff that's like highly processed, I personally feel fatigued. Like it doesn't give me the same energy and I get a little bit cranky too, especially if I eat cake or eat some kind of sweet. And then when I'm withdrawing from the sugar, like I get a little bit cranky. That's perfectly normal by the way, but I just want you to keep in mind that what you put into your body does make a difference. So two people that are equally as attractive can look completely different depending on how they eat. Aside from your physical health, you also want to focus on your mental health. This is why I make so many videos and courses and so many services based off of wellness, mental wellness, mindset, emotional health. This is because that is the foundation to your health. The way that you are feeling in any moment, that determines your reality, that determines your outcome, and that does have an impact on how you look. So when you feel good, when you're doing the inner work, you are embodying your goddess energy, people are going to treat you like a goddess, period. Even if you don't think you're the most beautiful woman in the world, you're still embodying your goddess energy. You're still making sure that you are sorting through your traumas and you are doing the inner work. You have healed your feminine energy. You have healed your wounds. 
You are actively investing time and energy into becoming a better person and leveling up. That makes you extremely magnetic. And it makes you feel good about yourself because even if you're not seeing physical results, you know that you're doing the right thing and that you're putting in effort. So just that boosts your mood and makes you feel better. Then the third tip is be authentic. This is so much easier said than done because so much conditioning is already there uh, based off what your parents told you, based off what you saw in school, what you see in social media. We are so conditioned to think something is good, another thing is bad. No, that's embarrassing, but that's okay. And honestly, just let go of all of that. Ask yourself what you think is the best thing, what you enjoy, what you think is stylish, what you think is cool, what you think is trending and do that okay be authentic the more authentic you are the more you will magnetize opportunities towards you and actually get treated like the goddess that you are because when you're not being authentic what are you actually doing you are signaling to your subconscious mind and you're signaling to the universe that the person that you are is not good enough and so you have to pretend to be someone else in order to get by so when you do that, you are cutting off the supply to your goddess energy because you're literally telling yourself that you're not good enough and you don't deserve to be loved for who you are. But when you are being authentic and you show up authentically, being who you really are, knowing that even if you don't get external approval, you love yourself, you know that you're valuable. It's that authenticity and the ability to be vulnerable and show up being who we are truly, that is the secret ingredient to getting that goddess treatment. Because now you look good, you feel good, and you're being who you really are. That is the secret formula to being magnetic. That is the secret formula to getting the goddess treatment. When I am embodying all three of these things and showing up in this way, people open doors for me, random people yell at me across the street telling me I look good, people honk their cars at me when I'm walking down the side of the road, like people are out here open, doing nice things for me, like I'll go to places and the person in front of me in line will pay for my groceries or will pay for my stuff, like people will come up to me ask me, oh my god, what moisturizer do you use? You have the best skin. Or, oh, I, where did you get this outfit? It's so beautiful. Like, you will get the goddess treatment everywhere you go when you are walking and embodying these tips. So I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions about this, feel free to comment them below. Don't forget to check out the Feminine Energy playlist. I have more Feminine Energy videos on there, as well as the Inner Work playlist, which has all the foundational information you need to actually feel your best mentally and emotionally because our mindset contributes a lot to how we feel just as much as our diet does if not more. <laughs> Your mind has so much power. Um, if you're ready to take the next step and you want to start reprogramming your limitations and actually accomplishing your goals, manifesting your best life, I invite you to check out all of my programs. I have so many courses. I have the Rewired Play Shop course, which is all about reprogramming your core beliefs. I have the Divinely Compensated course, which is all about launching your business online. And I have the Quantum Journaling course, which is all about journaling, duh. That is a great course. If you have started the inner work journey, maybe you're already in the Rewired Play Shop and you wanna take it a step further, you wanna experiment with journaling, um, the Quantum Journaling course is super fun, super great for that. Um, and then the Divinely Compensated course, if you are ready to get a second stream of income, you have passions or product ideas that you wanna start earning money online, that course will teach you the spiritual work you need to do to level up your mindset, as well as the step-by-step -step process to actually physically launch a business online, set up the social media, do all this stuff that you actually need to do physically. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Mwah.